رمضان رمضان شهر القرآن هدى لنا السلام عليكم Welcome back to Ramadan Talks where we're talking about topics relevant inside and outside Ramadan MashaAllah A lot of us have done a lot of great work doing our good deeds we feel exhausted but maybe, just maybe, as we're feeling good, there might be a little sense of pride. Okay, a little pat on the back, a little a little feeling of, yeah, I think I did something here. Dr. Simi, is this something also to be mindful of? We should remember that there is a human nature in every um, aspect of uh, our deeds. And it's 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 normal to feel good and proud, but not false pride, not an arrogant uh, pride. Um, when the Prophet was asked by his companions, you know, uh, about their deeds and whether they are accepted, only Allah knows what's accepted. But Allah Azza wa Jal says He accepts only those who are muhsinin, those who are mukhlisin, who are sincere. So if we're sincere, yes, leave it between you and Allah. But it's good to motivate the children and the youth and tell people, wow, you did this and friends. It's very important. It means a lot because especially these days, that companionship is needed to motivate and, and help each other. Having said that, uh, the, the Prophet said, لَن يَدْخُلَ الْجَنَّةَ أَحَدٌ بِعَمَلِهِ None of you will enter Jannah because of your deeds. They said, وَلَا أَنْتَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ not even you, O Messenger of Allah, he said, Wala ana illa an Allah Even me, unless Allah covers me with his mercy. So at the end of the day, mercy is the key here. We enter Jannah by the mercy of Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. It is by his mercy. This humbles us and doesn't put us in a state uh, like Shaitan. Shaitan claimed to be more supreme and better than a human being. Ana khayrun min. I am better than this one you created from clay and you created me from fire and fire goes up and clay goes down. And Allah wants to take away that arrogance and sense of pride from us uh, to be humble because Jannah is for the humble ones. One thing the Prophet taught us is to be humble, humility. So after we do good deeds, whether you pray in the last 10 nights, you read Quran, or you do fast in Ramadan, ask Allah to accept. And that's why Ibrahim and Ismail, peace be upon them, when they finished building the Kaaba, they turned to Allah humbly and said, Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samir alim. Oh Allah, accept from us, O oh Allah, you're the most hearing, the most aware of all things. Wa tub alayna innaka anta tawabu rahim. And make us of those who repent and accept our tawbah. You are the one who accepts tawbah, you are the most merciful. So that humility is key. Our religion is all about humility. And Allah Azza wa Jal, except from humble people, not arrogant people. Now, some of our viewers may also be familiar with the story of Cain and Abel, Habil and Qabil. Yeah, that's basically where we're led to uh, reflect on the story of Cain and Abel or Qabil and Habil. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted from Habil, but he did not accept from Qabil. One did the offering of the harvest, you know, uh, wheat or barley, whatever was, was the crop at that time, and the other one uh, slaughtered the sheep. But Allah only accepted from Habil. And then, of course, he was jealous, Qabil. And uh, Prophet, peace be upon him, reminded us, you know, to be uh, aware of that incident. And every time we do good, we are actually like Habil. Every time we do bad, it's like Qabil. And every sin that is committed, especially murder, it goes to the record of Qabil. So, uh, Qabil said to his brother, uh, you know, I will kill you. He says, uh, Habil said, Allah accept the deeds of those who are conscious of Allah. Okay, and if you kill me, I will not tr try to fight you back because I wouldn't kill my brother. Huh? And the story is in Surah number 5, chapter 5, teaches us that our deeds are accepted only if we are sincere, we have the consciousness of Allah. So Alhamdulillah, you fasted Ramadan, you gave donations, ask Allah to accept. Because a lot of people uh, in the Day of Judgment, the Prophet, peace be upon him, mentioned three categories of people. One is a knowledgeable man. He will come and he says, he will say, Ya Allah, uh, Allah will say, you'll enter Jannah with my Rahmah. And they said, no, I, I, I taught people. I was teaching the Quran and teaching knowledge. And Allah says, I know your intention. You taught because you wanted people to call you a scholar, knowledgeable person. And, and unfortunately, he will be dragged to Jahannam. Same thing with a man who gave money. 
and 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 spend but he was not doing it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he was doing it for showing off and he will be dragged also to Jahannam the third one he died as a shaheed like as it appeared to people oh he is a hero and this but Allah knew that that person wanted his name to be to have a fame after he dies and people mention him and his name enters history Allah knew his intention so this is to scare us and warn us that when we do things we should do them solely to Allah with the intention to please Allah you know not to please people and this is key 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 وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Bayna they were ordered only to worship Allah with ikhlas with sincerity may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us sincere and not to spoil our good deeds Ameen thank you so much for tuning in as always these are the 10 final nights of Ramadan so we got to take every moment we can to make the most of it Make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave some comments down below. It's a two-way street. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.